Hey, um, guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading. Uh, is it a good idea to reach out? This is going to be for Taurus. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for uh, um, April 2022. Uh, so these are the Taurus individuals that are currently in no contact with someone. We're going to see if it's a good idea for you to reach out to them. And then... Um, We'll see what will happen if you did reach out to this person. So just apply this to your own unique situation, even though this is love focused, this could be with a friend or a family member, uh, whoever. Um, uh, you could switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Aries. No, Taurus. Might be dealing with an Aries, okay? Um, so what do you have for Taurus regarding the person that they are currently in no contact with? Is it a good idea for Taurus to reach out to this person? Is it a good idea for Taurus to reach out to the person that they are currently in no contact with for um, April 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for Taurus. Ooh. Okay, we have the Three of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. We have someone here who's incredibly hurt. Whoever this is, this is someone here that's sort of like wondering what went wrong here. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. So three of swords and the seven of pentacles. We've got the ace of swords and the seven of cups. Yeah, I feel like we have someone here that's confused to why something happened here. Why they got hurt. You know, it could be a situation where Seven of Pentacles, someone here made promises that they didn't keep. You know, with the Seven of Cups, someone here might have caused a lot of confusions here. Uh, confusion here. There was a lack of clarity with the Ace of Swords. Okay. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have Strength and the Five of Swords. I feel like whoever this is, someone here is sort of like very much in their head because I feel like someone here is basically feeling really insecure, feeling really down about themselves. Um, you know, I feel like someone here just lacks a lot of self-confidence, okay? Um, we have the Strength card in the Five of Swords, Leo energy here, could be dealing with the Leo. We have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So I, whoever this is, I feel like this person's like expecting an apology because I feel like someone here got really hurt. Um, you know, like I said, someone here made promises that they didn't keep. Uh, you know, someone here could have been exploring options, playing mind games here, making you jealous. Um, you know, maybe someone here had poor self-control. Yeah, maybe someone here really had poor self-control and they were just, you know, out there uh, maybe messing around. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Okay, we have the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces, Seven of Pentacles, and the Magician here. Okay, Cancer Pisces with the High Priestess and the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. This is interesting because Taurus, I feel like someone here knew that they were going to get hurt. Okay, um, you know, I feel like we have someone here that really put in a lot of effort into this connection, but I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, you know, no, nothing really came of it. I feel like we have someone here that's finally reassessing this relationship now that they're in no contact. They may be realizing that this, this was, you know, a city uh, situation that they got themselves into, okay? Uh, Ace of Swords. So Gemini Virgo with that uh, magician here. Ace of Swords. Okay, with the King of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Four of Cups. All right, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Could be dealing with the air sign here. We have the Four of Cups. Whoever this 
person is, I feel like this person got really bored, okay? Um, I feel like whatever this person was doing or whatever this person was thinking, feeling, I feel like this person didn't really tell you or that they didn't know how to tell you, okay? Um, let's see what else we have here. Whoever this is, this is uh, someone here who's very emotionally closed off and cold. This person could be very, very immature. Like I said, I feel like this person, you know, might have been very impulsive and, or just had poor self-control. This person might have a temper also. Aries, Leo, Sag, um, with the Page of Wands, Five of Swords. And then we have the Ten of Cups. Whoever this person is, I feel like this person that is hurt, I feel like this person is still wanting this five of swords, not the, this ten of cups energy. The thing is, I feel like we have someone here that feels like they got played. Okay? Someone here feels like they got played. You know, you could be dealing with someone here that's incredibly manip manipulative, you know? I feel like this king of swords should be in the reverse. Okay? That magician could be in, uh, should be in the reverse. But I feel like someone here knew that they were going to get hurt. Because I feel like someone here was very intuitively connected to the whole situation. But I feel like someone here might have been ignoring their intuition. And now someone here is looking back and someone here is saying that they should have listened. All right, what will happen if Taurus reached out to the person that they are currently in no contact with? What will happen if Taurus reached out to the person that they are currently in no contact with? For April 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. What will happen if Taurus reach out to the person that they are currently in no contact with? I got the Five of Wands. I don't think it's a good idea to reach out to this person. Whoever, so if you hurt this person, I feel like this person's still really mad at you. Okay. But if your person hurt you, I mean, you're still really mad. Well, someone here is really mad. Five of Wands. Let's see what else we have here. I mean, you could be looking for a reconciliation. So when I looked on the bottom of the deck, we had the Queen of Cups and the Judgment. Okay, we had the Nine of Swords. I, I, you know, I feel like it... You know, I feel like it will be pretty stressful if you did reach out to this person or that if you did speak with this person, okay? Nine of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles and the Lovers. You know, what will happen? I feel like you guys might get back together. Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles here and the, the uh, Lovers, Gemini Energy. Look, we have that Queen of Cups again and Judgment here. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of reconciliation here. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have the Ten of Wands and then the Page of Pentacles. So with the Ten, no, the, the Ten of Wands and the Page of Pentacles here, you know, this could, I mean, I'm feeling like an on and off energy. So either someone here is, you know, you guys will be separating again, or that someone here might be dropping the, the, um, the, uh, the, the options here, okay, that they were dealing with. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with a page of pentacles, you could be dealing with another Taurus. Tell me about the five of wands. Five of wands. We have the knight of pentacles and the nine of swords and the ace of pentacles. There will be some sort of new beginning here. You know, I feel like with the world card, there is a cycle closing out. And I feel like you guys might be starting all over again. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and then the Ace of Pentacles here. It seems like there's going to be a new beginning. Okay, uh, there's going to be, uh, you know, an opportunity for um, growth and expansion and abundance here regarding this relationship. Um, we have the Two of Pentacles. Lovers. And then we have the Seven of Wands. There's an energy of definitely overcoming between you two. Yeah, but I feel like, you know, moving forward, there's going to be some sort of uncertainty because I do feel like, you know, 
you know, I feel like we have someone here that's going to wonder if it's going to work out or that if someone's going to get hurt again. Um, ten of wands, you know, maybe someone here might continue to juggle. But, you know, three, uh, two plus one, um, you know, th that's, you know, an energy of like working together as a team to bring this back together. Six of Swords, Page of Pentacles here. And then the Hierophant. I do feel like someone here wants to make an offer. Yeah, some sort of contract. I feel like there's going to be... This is interesting. I don't know if you guys are going to be, you know, kind of like firming the boundaries or something like that. You know, what you could take and what you can't take, that sort of thing. So I, I feel like you guys are going to be talking about, you know, what needs to change and what can what, what can't happen again. Okay, we have the Six of Swords and the Chariot, uh, not the Chariot, the, uh, the um, Hierophant, Taurus Energy. You could be dealing with the uh, uh, Taurus here, like I said, another Taurus. Now, there's an energy of moving on, trying to move on. But I feel like there, there's a lot of stress regarding this. Yeah, I, I feel like we have someone here that can't get over someone exploring other options. Or that someone here is worried that there's gonna, that it's gonna happen again. You know, I feel like this Queen of Swords is gonna, we have the King to Queen of Swords, true pair here. You know, I feel like we have someone here that might be trauma bonded to this King here. Because I'm getting kind of like a mental abusive uh, energy with this person. So, you know, someone here might be a bit codependent, you know, someone here steps away and, you know, and, you know, someone just uh, keeps going back uh, because there is like, you know, perhaps some sort of unhealthy attachment here. Okay, so um, Taurus, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys.